this bill is about isn't is not about voter verification. This bill is about vo voter disqualification and voter nullification. And in fact, I've heard some people state what they think the intent of this bill on the floor is. Well, I think the intent of this bill is squarely aimed at traditional DFL constituencies with the intent to disenfranchise potential DFL voters. What if I don't look like my driver's license? Wh how, what's the challenge? What is my election judge, whom I can name right now because she knows who I am, uh, what is she going to say to me if I don't look like my ID? The answer to your question would be under those circumstances, which I would think would be pretty rare, where you absolutely don't uh, even uh, remotely resemble the image uh, that you are presenting, uh, you would then go, uh, be allowed to go into the provisional balloting box and be allowed time to come back and certify your vote. You see, I believe in democracy and legitimacy in voting is thinking and acting in advance. There would be little need for provisional ballots if people would actually take part in democracy, if they were part of what was going on, if they really cared about the process, if they learned about the candidates, if they were out there and really cared, they would register in advance. We wouldn't be worried about provisional balloting. Um, why would we want to consider this? I think the number one reason is to modernize our election system and make sure that we can identify people who are the proper people to vote. The proper citizens of Minnesota should have the right to vote without their voice being disenfranchised by someone who might be considered illegal in some way because they're no longer a citizen or never became a citizen. I, I truly regret that to date there has not been a single DFL vote in any of the committee hearings or on the, or on the uh, Senate floor uh, in support of uh, this measure. Um, and I, I regret it because uh, we are truly not targeting uh, any class of voters except those voters who are attempting to vote uh, and, do, and doing so illegally or not being eligible. Those are the only targets of, of this legislation. We certainly would never want to disenfranchise anyone. At the same time, I think we would all fight and die for the integrity of our voting system, and, and many people have, as, as we all well know. So as we go forward, uh, Mr. President, uh, I would say this is, a, again, a very, very important bill. Let's turn it over to the state of Minnesota. Let's see what the citizens think. There being 35 ayes and 29 nays, the bill is repassed and its title agreed to.